Today I'd like to give you some tips for creating line art like this using associative paths, assembly and part mode, as well as copy transformations and some hotkeys to help make your illustrations quicker and easier. Now you may already know that you can take an object and go under path, create an associative path, and create a little animation and the path will follow the animation path. Very powerful, however requires a lot of pre-planning and if I want to move a group of objects and then have the parts based on their assembly position, if I make that path assembly path now or associated path now, it will go ahead and draw it from its original position, not the position it was in the assembly. So I'll delete these keys here and we'll grab this in assembly mode just grab assembly mode. And I can free drag it where I want on the page. A lot of illustrators like to manually position things. And now I can go back to part mode and I can free drag the tire in an animation to create a path for that. Now again, collaborate path, create associative path. Now I'm going to select that path and base that path on the world coordinate system. So I get kind of a nice looking path that, that's always associated where the object goes. I'm going to grab the assembly, rest of the assembly here of the tire, copy the transformations back on the tire. Now because I'll probably be using that key, we go to, to create that hot key, we can go to view, bars, keyboard, and then I'm just going to go to transform, copy transformations, and assign a hot key. I've already got mine assigned at Alt C, so I'll be using that. But now I can go back in and select some other parts here that, that are on the assembly to create some more paths. And I'll use my hotkey Alt-D to uh, create that path again. And that's a, another one that I assign. I'll base that path on the world coordinate system. And now I want to take and move the tire a little bit more, but I don't want to necessarily need another path. So I'm going to select the path and create that as a non-associative path first. And now when I move the tire, I have my original path and the new associative path. I just want to delete that associative path, select the hub, copy transformations over, and now I can grab the some more parts and manually do some explodes uh, of groups that I want. I'll pull those parts out, for example and then I can go ahead and grab the bearing here. This gives you a lot of flexibility in where you want to put things by doing this uh, manually. Now if I pull the end of the object out holding the Alt key down I can extend that line as long as I want. I'll grab this little next subassembly in part mode since it hasn't moved and I'm just going to free drag that down, select an object, use my hotkey to create that path and base the path on the world coordinate system again. So we can also do things in reverse. We can create paths based on animations and then put the animation back. So I'll move this little bar up and then select the bolts, copy transformations with my hotkey, move it up to the part, then select the bolt, create the path, and base that path on a world coordinate again. And now I can select that path and create a non-associative path again. So I can move the bolts back to their original position. So we just use those bolts to make the path. And next, if I want to go through and start tweaking and exploding, I can grab some more parts and use my explode mode and you may or may not know that again in explode mode I can hold down my alt key to explode on different axes as well so I can explode that up and then I can grab the whole object bring it down and I can start tweaking my positions again if I want if I want to grab this bolt and slide that up ahead of the washer I can do that tweak that down a little bit so you can go ahead and start tweaking your, your objects. Now I've also created a little style called dash so that when I use my polyline it's going to draw the same style line as my associative path. So I just hold my alt key down 
snap to the object and I've got a nice little path. Now you notice too some of these lines are growing from the associated paths are going through the object. My style is set to not stay on top so I'm going to go ahead and select all my paths and apply the style and then you can see that it'll look like the objects are going through and they'll be hidden by objects if they if they're on top of it. Now lastly I can go through and start tweaking the rest of my animation by or the rest of my illustration by just selecting these objects and moving around and, and creating my paths uh, either manually or automatically. So hopefully this helps and you've learned a couple techniques for creating a new animation. New illustration, sorry. Thanks.